name is Bill Rohr. I am uh, the owner and the general manager of AgriLab Incorporated, which is an agronomy lab. We provide analytical data to uh, farmers and agronomists who are trying to make input decisions on growing a plant. It takes a lot of nutrients to grow a plant. Our data helps make those decisions on how much nitrogen, phosphorus, potassium, or sulfur to apply. So it provides that data to make good balanced decisions agronomically, economically, and also environmentally. I grew up in a small farm in Lancaster, Pennsylvania, and I was uh, interested in agriculture ever since I was a young person. And I uh, worked on farms, and I worked for agronomy companies uh, through high school and college. And uh, I uh, went to West Virginia University and studied plant and soil science. And then uh, after college, I went in the Army as an artillery officer. And after my four years in the Army, I was uh, very excited to get back into agriculture. I, had not, you know, I was at the point in my life where I was ready to start my own business. And, I saw a demand for a lab on the Delmarva Peninsula. Uh, so I uh, did my homework, uh, really put a solid business plan together. I decided to borrow the money and move forward with a business uh, in starting an agronomy lab and it's become a, uh, a successful business. Within agronomy, there's a lot of science. Um, there's science in getting a, a seed to germinate, to come out of the ground. There's a lot of science to make sunlight into energy to grow a plant. There's a lot of science in uh, growing a plant that will generate a yield that you can harvest and be profitable and make some money as, as a farmer to make a living. So that's the science that starts at the farm. The science that we deal with is primarily the analytical science that tells a farmer or an agronomist if they're feeding the right nutrients or if that plant is healthy or if it's set up to grow a yield that you need to be a profitable farmer. So the science comes in several different levels and we are at a very sophisticated level of, of agronomy science here. As an agronomy lab, uh, we take technology very seriously because technology is always moving uh, within the ag sector and even within the lab environment. So we invest in the most modern technology and we need people to work in this environment that understand and have some education in plant and soil science. You know, at the level of agronomy that we're working here, uh, most people need at least an associate's degree, but preferably a four-year degree in plant and soil science or some type of environmental biology. My name is Emily Herrickle and I'm a lab technician. I didn't grow up on a farm. I grew up in Pennsylvania um, in like a suburban setting. We were members of a CSA, Community Supported Agriculture, um, and I went along to pick up the vegetables and I thought it looked really cool. Uh, so I started working there and um, I loved it. I loved working outside and growing food. I went to school for environmental science. I went to Juniata College in Pennsylvania, which is near Penn State. I worked at a couple different places. I, like I knew what I liked, environmental science and nature and farming, but it was hard to find the right career and sometimes you have to try a couple things and see where you're happy and what, what feels like good work to do. Eventually I ended up here and um, I enjoy how it incorporates the science I learned in school and also it's all, all the work is to serve farmers, so I really appreciate that. My favorite part about working here is that every day is different. Every day you have new challenges and you have to kind of use your analytical thinking to solve problems. So one day you could get a totally new type of sample that you've never got before, like a new type of plant sample or a water sample that has to be tested for something different. Um, and then you, you can kind of use your, what you know in science and what you know about the lab to solve it. So it's always unpredictable and there's a good amount of hands-on work, so that's satisfying. Um, my name is Haley Bilbro Levingood. I'm the office manager and I'm also in a, lab, a lab tech here at AgriLab. My education background is West Virginia University, the Bachelor's of Science in Environmental and Natural Resources Economics. After college, I spent some time in retail, which has helped me out in the office because I do all the book work. I pay the bills, I do all the client relations, I do all of that. I never know what's going to walk in the door. It's always keeping me on my toes. I'm always multitasking. There are some days where I'm in the lab and I'm helping run a thousand soil samples for pH or I'm helping weigh out organic matter. I'm prepping samples. So it, 
It's the variety of what comes in the door. It's always different. Probably the, the favorite part of our job is uh, helping folks solve problems and to, you know, to be efficient in getting samples through here uh, because we understand how important our data and how valuable our data is used. Just providing good data and providing a good service is a good feeling. I talked to a lot of different customers and there seems to be a shortage of good agronomists out there. And as an agronomist, um, I mean, you can make a, a, a very good living. Uh, it's, again, it's, it's not necessarily easy work, but uh, it's, it's a very gratifying field. And uh, I, I think we need more young people to pursue uh, agronomy, agriculture, plant soil science, animal husbandry, because there are, there's a need for them.